in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Seamless M40 version 2 on your local Linux system. For this demo, I'll be using Ubuntu 22.04 on AWS EC2 instance. You can use the same command and step on any Linux instance, either on your local system, if it has a BP GPU or any other cloud system. Seamless M40 version 2 is a foundational, massively multilingual and multimodal machine translation model, which delivers high quality translation for speech and text in nearly 100 languages. This supports a wide range of translation tasks, including speech to speech, speech to text, text to speech, text to art, text to text, and also automatic speech recognition of ASR. This brand new version serves as a foundation for seamless expressive, which preserves vocal style and seamless streaming, which parallelizes translation across multiple language at once. Seamless M40 V2 updates the Unit Y2 framework from its predecessor and is already pre-trained on 4.5 million hours of unlabeled audio and has also been fine-tuned on 114,800 hours of automatically aligned data. The architecture is optimized for lower latency, particularly in speech recognition and generation, making it more responsive and suitable for real-time applications. So in summary, there are three use cases for it. First, multilingual and multimodal support. As I said, 100 languages are supported. Then improved real-time translation, and then it also preserves the vocal style. Okay, now the introduction is out of the way. Let me show you how you can install it on your local system running Linux Ubuntu. You can use the same commands with slight difference on your Linux x86 or any other flavor of Linux. So this is my terminal on the screen. Let me quickly show you the ver version of my operating system. So it is Ubuntu 22.04 and as I said, I'm using AWS EC2 instance and my instance is G4DN 2x class. This might be a bit under-resourced, so it might not go all the way through, but at least if you have a beefy system than that, you should be able to use the same commands. Okay, now in order to get started with installation, first thing we need to do is to install a few of the prerequisites. So first, let's update the operating system, which is apt get update. We need to put sudo in because we are not root. Let's wait for it to finish. And instead of doing a clean cut install and showing you only the clean installation, I'm also going to do some troubleshooting on the fly. So bear with me. So I believe you would learn more that way. Okay, next step is to install wget because we need to download a few software there with it. Let's go to temp directory and install. First download Anaconda. It'll take too long. That's done. And now let's check the checksum of Anaconda. We need to make sure the file is correct. That's done. And now let's install. Let me clear the screen. Bash Anaconda, press enter, spacebar, spacebar, type yes there, and then press enter. And that will take around one minute or so, so let's wait for it to finish. Now let's initialize Conda, just type yes there, and Anaconda is done. Let's source this Anaconda installation so that we would be able to access it. And you can see that now we are in the Anaconda environment as shown by that base, base uh, in the parenthesis. Let's also check Conda version. So we, uh, we have the latest one, which is great. Now let's create a Conda environment. I'll just say Conda create n seamless. And I'm going to use <coughs> Maybe I'll just use Python. 
5.11 which is the latest one I believe let's go, go with it press y and let it install all the prerequisites so that we won't have to and this is the main advantage of Coda that we can have a lot of stuff uh, installed for us now activating the Conda environment. Let's wait for it to finish. Yes. And you can see that now we're in the seamless environment. Another prerequisite we need to install it is FFmpeg, the sudo apt install FFmpeg. Okay, so we don't have free space. Okay, so we let me increase my space on this system won't be long i have increased the file system so, and thankfully it's an ebs volume on ec2 so it's easy to install okay so let's try this ffmpeg again capital y and let's wait for it to install it takes a bit of a time not much but still ffmpeg is done let's clear the screen the second prerequisite we need to install is called as FairSec2. It is a sequence modeling toolkit that enables us to train custom models for translation, summarization, language model, and other content generation tasks. So let's get it installed. I'm just saying sudo apt install libs and file1. Press enter. And it says lib file1 set to manually install. That is good. Okay, we already have it. That is very nice. That is one advantage of using Ubuntu. Let's clear the screen. Now, we are uh, we have done with all the prerequisites. Next step we need to do is to clone the GitHub repo of this um, model, which is M40. So for that, let's go back to our GitHub repo. Scroll up. Click on the screen button copy this URL and then let's go back to our screen here just say git clone so maybe I will just go to the home directory so that I'm not in that temp let's say git clone and then clone this directory press enter okay that is done and now we need to get it installed so then Installation command is very simple. We are already in that directory. So all we need to do is to say pip install dot. So let me quickly do it. Press enter. Okay, so we okay, so sorry, we need to go into that directory. So let's get into that directory and now say pip install dot. Press enter. And in, it is installing all the stuff which we need for it. And it takes a bit of a time because it's, it's it installs a lot of stuff. So let's wait for it to finish. It is still getting installed. And one thing I forgot to mention that I am using around 200 gig of disk size. So make sure you have plenty of disk space for this. So it failed with this error that it required bit array. So there is another prerequisite which we need to install. Let's get it installed. But first, let me quickly do the update of the whole system just to be sure everything is up to date. That is done. And now let's install bit array by using this command. Okay, so it says it is unable to locate Python bit array. Let me find the correct package for it. Let me try it out with pip now. So pip install bit array. Okay, this time it worked, which is good. Let's try our pip install dot again. So it has already installed a few things, so it should be quicker this time. As you can see, it is already finding few of the cached versions. Let's wait for it to finish. I have tried installing various prerequisites, but it seems that because I'm using Python 3.11, so bit array is conflict, conflicting with it, but I think we can ignore it. Because you can see it says that successfully built 
seamless communication so we can use this model easily now until this point the installation is complete and now we need to play around with it so in order to uh, run this model all you need to do is to have a wave audio file then uh, put it somewhere on your system and then you can use sorry not this one you can use calling command let me pick it up from my system and then i will put it here or you can use this command m4t predict then this is my local file here the last method wave and then you can my target language is french and the task i'm using is speech to speech text and then this is my output directory where this file will be created so i'll be creating another video where i'll upload the audio files and then play around with it because there are various tasks various models and it will require a separate video in order to do that so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed this installation video all the commands which i have used are in this github repo which you can see on your screen and i'll drop the link to it in video description so stay tuned for the next video where we'll be playing around with this seamless models both expressive and or rest of the variants if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much